Hey everyone, there's been a lot of talk about Iran lately, especially after the IDF recently went in and eliminated uh, many of the leadership in, of Hezbollah, the terrorist organization that has wreaked havoc upon many groups of people for, for decades at this point. And so uh, check out this recent video from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, not addressing Iran the regime, but directly to Iran the people. That listen to what he says. I think it's very important. Take a look. I speak a lot about the leaders of Iran. Yet at this pivotal moment, I want to address you, the people of Iran. I want to do so directly, without filters, without middlemen. Every day, you see a regime that subjugates you make fiery speeches about defending Lebanon, defending Gaza. Yet every day, that regime plunges our region deeper into darkness and deeper into war. Every day, their puppets are eliminated. Ask Muhammad Dev. Ask Nasrallah. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach. There is nowhere we will not go to protect our people and protect our country. With every passing moment, the regime is bringing you, the noble Persian people, closer to the abyss. The vast majority of Iranians know their regime doesn't care a whit about them. If it did care, if it cared about you, it would stop wasting billions of dollars on feudal wars across the Middle East. It would start improving your lives. Imagine if all the vast money the regime wasted on nuclear weapons and foreign wars were invested in your children's education and improving your health care in building your nation's infrastructure, water, sewage, all the other things that you need. Imagine that. But you know one simple thing. Iran's tyrants don't care about your future, but you do. When Iran is finally free, and that moment will come a lot sooner than people think, everything will be different. Our two ancient peoples, the Jewish people and the Persian people, will finally be at peace. Our two countries, Israel and Iran will be at peace. When that day comes, the terror network that the regime built in five continents will be bankrupt, dismantled. Iran will thrive as never before. Global investment, massive tourism, brilliant technological innovation based on the tremendous talents that exist inside Iran. Doesn't that sound better than endless poverty, repression and war? From Qom to Isfahan, from Shiraz to Tibriz, there are tens of millions of good and decent people with thousands of years of history behind them and a brilliant future ahead of them. Don't let a small group of fanatic theocrats crush your hopes and your dreams. You deserve better. Your children deserve better. The entire world deserves better. I know you don't support the rapists and murderers of Hamas and Hezbollah, but your leaders do. You deserve more. The people of Iran should know Israel stands with you. May we together know a future of prosperity and peace. So I love the message of prosperity and peace. And Bibi is very clear to lay out that the Iranian people are good people, are decent people that have unfortunately been essentially enslaved by a tyrannical government since the late 1970s. And this is something I think is so beautiful and so perfect and something that we really need to hear and emphasize that the Jewish world and the Arab world can and should get along. There are many uh, moves for peace in various ways and collective projects. It is, it is simply fanaticism, jihadism that is, that is getting in the way of a lot of this. And so I, I commend uh, this message and I love how he emphasized how the freedom of the Iranian people is coming sooner than a lot of people think. May it be very soon. May we soon see a breakout of peace in the Middle East and that the Iranian people and the Israeli people and all good people of goodwill should be able to live together in the way that they were meant to and that all of this radicalism, this jihadism should go into the dumpster of history never to be heard from ever again.